Anyway, so we open, we get three bet. Um, so, uh, all right. Well, listen, Phil's on a bit of an upswing. He's feeling good after the break. He's like, you know what? I'm going to include this hand in my flatting range. No need to increase variance and whatnot and lose 24 Gs back. Let's let's see. Yeah. A flop dealer. So, <clears throat> my parallel to this spot. Is that when I was looking at six max PO from the solver's perspective, your MP versus EP four bet range has uh, you know from early two thousands through two thousand sixteen seventeen, we were as a population having the default of four betting our ace king king hands, even against yep. tight early position opening ranges that have tight four uh, tight. Sorry, when we're talking MP versus EP three bet ranges, we're um, we're not three betting Ace King King as much, and uh, that's equivalent to here, where uh, now instead of four betting Ace King King, although we definitely are four betting some Ace King King, instead of having it be our default, we would rather four bet Ace Rag 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 double suited like Ace Ten Eight Seven, you know, the gapped um, three cards below Jack. Uh, even ace jack nine seven doubles doing like forty two or forty four percent against aces like you're you're chilling there, so any any kind of hand that's uh, was run run down with gaps, three cards, between jack and six something like that that has good connectivity, mm. not perfect connectivity though because those play better as a flap. Uh, we're four betting those instead of four betting a lot of various king king. So I'm actually not surprised to see flat fill flat here, although. If Venny, okay. for instance, is playing a three bet percent that's over fifteen percent, then I'm just snap four betting this and, and moving on. Uh, you know, so it, it depends on the Makes it depends on the sense. whether there's a tasteful thickness to Venny's three bet range or whether he's you know just having uh, taking it to the streets. Have you ever seen American Psycho? I've I have a very long time ago, but feel free uh, to no, refresh it's my just memory. About business cards, no, it's, don't worry about it. Um, you don't, you don't remember well, the the scene with with Bone? What? Is that no? I honestly, I honestly don't. I, yeah, I'll, well, I'll watch it tonight. I oh, know I won't. Sorry, I, I won't. I won't be available tonight after I'll, about I'll, midnight. Yeah, right. You're going to be raging. I'll, I'll send you the uh, YouTube YouTube clip. Um, but right. Yeah. So when, whenever we play this hand functionally as a protect. Even whenever our opponent pots it on a board like this, we're very happy to just flat. This this makes a lot of sense, especially with a ten blocker and a blocker to aces. Mm -hmm. And then Vanny Vidi goes tiny, small, and wide. I think this makes a lot of sense whenever the bottom card pairs because the in position player's equity sharply decreases on this turn, and the out of position player's equity increases, but at a low frequency has just gone to drawing to two outs whenever the imposition player has a four. That's not very common though versus a pot sized flop bet. You need to have something like four seven eight nine, four seven eight with hearts. There's not very many four X that uh, Phil is going to be flatting. Six four maybe. We should we should look into this and see what the imposition player is doing with their six four. We'll have a dabble in the yeah. vision streets, setting up a very natural uh, river SPR yeah, here as well. Very clearly setting up the shove, and we are never thinking about folding here on turn. We are tip top of our range against a small bet that we need to defend such a large percentage of our range against, and then we just drill that yeah. puppy and call it off. Yeah. We just, <laughs> just kick more yeah, corner yeah, pocket. Yeah, yeah. Thank Although you, dealer. I, I okay. remember this hand. Do you remember this hand? I can't say I, I, I do. I was commentating when no. this hand was played. Do you want to take a okay. guess at what any VD has? I, no. Go on. Five, Enlighten six, seven, us. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. He's just such so a sicko. No this heart. Kid. I think yeah. he had a single heart. Uh, but five, six, seven, eight. Pots flop. Bet small on turn. Very standard. Needs to include this as one of his bluffs on turn. Leveraging his overpairs and then gets a river that Phil should not have very many. It's not a great river for Phil to call off on. There's definitely a nuts advantage for Venny. Rips it. Phil has it. Mm. Snip snap. Eight, eight high. GG. Eight high down the drain. See you later. Next hand. Um, 
But yeah, so. I mean, it see, see, seems fine from Venny, right? Pair blocker, uh, wrap around the 6 4 on the turn. Standard. Oh, I mean, Venny played this hand perfectly. Yeah, okay, cool. Just wanted to clarify. Don't want to rip into yeah. him too much. You know, he's already lost 150k. Yeah, 100K no, no. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm just. I'm just having a bit of fun. <laughs> Vanny Vidi, Vanny Vidi yeah, plays extremely yeah. well, and so does Phil. This is this is a yeah, I mean, modern cooler. Yeah. D dealer dealer playing it well for for Phil as well, just uh, making his life easier. Yeah, easy although blah three hundred four asking in the chat, I wish we had seen a different brick so we could see what players are, what Phil would be doing on a queen or a jack. Uh, I, he has to call this hand. On, on a queen or a jack. It's, uh, mm. This is one of the very first hands he's going to be calling with that's not a four. You know, so it's he's, he's snip, snip, snapping this hand on a queen or a jack. Or at least in his shoes, I'm snip snapping on a queen or jack. I mean, we're blocking aces, we're blocking the 10 10, we're blocking the random ace king 10 4 or whatever. You know, and is, is Venny VD really. Well, we can, we can take a look whether. Vanny Vidi is uh, continuing with his jacks and queens in this turn spot. That's yep. something else for us to be looking at. Whether 6-4 is flatting flop and whether jacks or queens for the out of position player is barreling off. We can take a look at all of these things. Thankfully, we can take a look at it because we have this tool called Vision. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of it. No way. What's that all about? Well, it's your best friend. It's a, it's a perfect solver. We get to get all the answers. So this is as close as we'll get. Not a problem. Let's see the five, six, seven, eight. The equivalent hand always being put into bet. <clears throat> Curiously, so we spoke about this previously on the nine, eight deuce hand when you were asking about what is king, king, four, five, single backdoor flush draw doing on nine, eight deuce. And I was saying that it doesn't really want to pot because it's going to be bet folding. So it goes half yep. full for you know a decent amount of it. Some of it probably continues. Uh, well, so you can see here again on this. Yeah, yeah, NT Deep LA, absolutely. I, when I'm when I'm at a dive bar and you know I'm trying to hit on someone, I just pull up my phone and say like you know. I've had I've had a vision. Uh, you you you. <laughs> your marriage material if you could solve this spot for me on the spot <laughs> no you uh, you throw your sunglasses on and say uh, you know I'm sorry I need these um, my future is just too bright because I've got this tool called vision have you heard of it but, no, 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 no. Thank, thankfully <laughs> could someone clip that and send it to me I'm gonna I'm gonna um, thing in you know however many years I'm gonna play yeah that. well <laughs> you know some of us have run the sims anyway so <laughs> <laughs> we've we've got the uh, the poor old ace king ten ace king king ten. See, it's one of our uh, dominant protects. Makes sense to me. Yo, you guys actually lucked out because I I have sunglasses, but I didn't put them on for that. So there was you were you were spared the uh, the cringing. Definitely a low frequency play. Totally agree. Um, although I'm not going out to the dive bars in Florida. Um, so we've got 54, bottom two. We were thinking about how does, how does the imposition player play their bottom two on this, on the, uh, if you remember this old 10, 10, 6, 4 board, what are they doing if they're 46? It appears we're flatting a lot of it. However, notice this is half pot bet from the out of position player. Whereas in game, it was a pot, pot size bet. So any continue for pot. Right, so in yeah. this situation, we are raising more often versus a larger sizing. So the quarter raise here, which contains mostly hearts or heart blockers. See all of these ace of heart nut blockers, single hearts, flush draws, and we're, we're going to take some of our back doors that are raising at a small frequency and all these frequencies get jacked up. Um, yeah. So we go from quarter to like, what, 45%? Yeah, maybe versus even more. A large size. Hard, hard to say, but... Okay. We're mashing, is what we're doing. We're mashing. Although mashing I'm curious, bomb. so our 45 with more equity is raising at a higher frequency. So if we had something like queen jack four five, no heart, we're pure calling. 
See that? So whenever we have the queen jack four or five versus larger sizing, we're still going to be flatting. Our hands that are almost always flatting versus small sizing, or always flatting versus small sizing, are going to be majority flatting against big sizing. And what, why is that, sorry? You mentioned uh, with, with the queen jack, we've got more backup. Uh, no, no, with the six, seven, with the six, seven, oh, so, we've got more backup, sorry. so we're raising it. Yeah. Less backup. With yeah. the queen jack, we're just yeah. flying. Yeah. So, so we could make an assumption that if we were in this situation and our opponent potted into us and we had something like four, five, six, seven, we would raise here and we would be coolering the absolute shit out of any VD with his five, six, seven, eight. Because <laughs> we'd have bottom two and blocking his straight draws. Um, but yeah, so if, if we go back to vision checking out what are we doing with our, say, top twos. I think that's worth investigating. Majority raise. And that's a very small raising range. See another board that is somewhat gapped as the imposition player. Through a pots, we're playing very high frequency protect. Yeah, yeah so Louis, we uh, envision we have a bunch of boards we can pull up, and each of them covers a range of flop textures. So we have a board that plays exactly the same from the solver's perspective. We don't need to pull up precisely 10-6-4 to see how the spot plays. Um, so here we are. So we have ace-king-king-ten, which came up as pure call. Okay, okay, unless we have the three-suit nut flush draw. Again, we've seen this many times now in Vision that the Three suit hands are played more aggressively. We and now we get eight. bottom card pairing, the four of blue. And opponent bets small and wide. I expect third pot here. Yeah, here's third pot. And then we are tip top of our range. With this hand, we're never folding. Occasionally, we're value jamming it. This is definitely a value jam, not a bluff, not a bluff jam. And then the rest of the time, we are calling. And then I shouldn't have to tell you guys how we're playing river when opponent jams. And we river the nut, but we're, st we're sticking it in. Um, we're, we're, we're beating Venny to the pot, right? Yeah, one chip, flick it in, dealer. Send me my $49,879. Thank you very much. Yeah, so... I'm actually, this is quite curious. This is super tilting. I'm on like a seven yeah, I'm second sorry. delay. I'm sorry, Henry. That's all right, man. I just keep trying to see what you're plugging in and then mm -hmm. it like disappears. You know what is quite interesting? Check out this. Heads up, we can tell that if you have ace, king, king, ten, single nut suit or double suited, Visions for betting all of those pre. That's why they're not here. Yeah. Yeah, that makes makes a ton of sense in heads up. As you said, like versus anything over a 15% 15 three betting range, we're probably just mashing the. Well, uh, how the funny deadline. is that? So Phil had the three suit Ace King King 10 and knew not to four bet it. Wow. Big Daddy Phil. Big ups. He knew not. Phil uh, yeah. Galpon. Phileas Maximus. He knew not to not to four bet it, but then he played flop as flat not raise. So he, he got to the flop correctly. <laughs> um, but I mean that is such a crazy piece of niche PLO knowledge to know that when we're playing heads up PLO, we need to be flatting our ace king king ten three suit hands. <sighs> crazy. Play, play, played played flop. Uh, he played flop oh, correctly he as well. Right? Flop, but it was versus pot. So our, if you're raising this hand versus ah, okay. half pot, you're going to start to flat it versus big bet. So I, he probably, you know, we'll, we'll say he still played flop correctly. Um, but yeah, when you know it's... Okay, I see so him. He, he knew he'll get in by the river anyway. Hence him uh, give, give him Venny very, the rope. Very true. Makes sense. 